In this video, I invited two of my classmates that have never played Geometry Dash and asked them to review some famous GD levels and rate them from 1 to 10. I'm gonna be honest, the results were very interesting. Before we start, consider subscribing to my channel since I'd like to hit 5000 subscribers before the end of 2022. The first level I've chosen is Astral Divinity by Noble Boy. Yeah, it looks relatively easy. Yeah, but it's a bit chaotic. <laughs> like, it's hard, uh, as I said, it's hard to concentrate only on one thing. I retract my statement when I said that it's easy, like, these parts, no way. Yeah. It looks like all the other levels to me. <laughs> yeah, so I would say there are many colors, like too much colors, too much objects and many shapes. So maybe I would reduce it a bit. It's not bad, but it's... <laughs> when they said the level was flashy, I got scared because little did they know the next level I was about to show them is even crazier in this regard. This is way too confusing. He's just going through lines. How does he know where to jump? Oh, this part is really nice. The graphic is not so usual, but I like it. It just doesn't fit into the, into the other level. It is different. I don't know if it's better though. What I like, uh, the shapes of objects are more simple. I can better concentrate. Mm -hmm. I also like the music. It was better than the last one. Okay, that's enough flashes. To balance the energy, I decided to pick something calm and relaxing. XO by Karma L fits this criteria really well. Besides the orthodox design choices, the song complements its theme perfectly. Yeah, okay, so it's uh, it's more basic, it's something what I know. Yeah, and it's more relaxing. Oh, but this part is nice. This is something new, I would say. Sometimes something simple is better than something colorful. It's way less confusing and it's friendlier to eyes. Yeah, but I would say that it's a bit boring. Yeah, it doesn't impress me so much. I was excited to see what they are going to say about this level in particular, since How by Sputnik is known for the creative design choices, which we have never seen before. Ooh. Beginning's nice. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even look like geometry that it looks quite. Yeah. Oh, it's connected to space. I, th I think it was good. Considering that it was 3D, it was completely something else. It was too slow. Yes, and it was too short. I would like to see more, because I liked the design. To make it interesting, I also picked a few levels that weren't necessarily trying its best to look good. They're trolls! <laughs> Isn't that stereo madness? Uh, I like the idea of trolling. <laughs> yeah, the design is very close to stereo madness, but the gameplay definitely isn't. <laughs> I would like to play it with troll face. Mm. It would be really nice. But you can definitely uh, change the texture pack to troll face. I, I like the idea with trolling. I don't know why, but I like this idea. I know that's annoying, but I like funny things. Yeah, this interests me. I don't know why. Since I would also like some feedbacks from non-GD players myself, <laughs> Smart is preferably by Substra is a rainbow mega collab hosted by me. <laughs> It's like Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> it looks like Gravity Fall. I know that the first one, I think yeah. it had many colors and many shapes, and I couldn't concentrate on one thing only. But this is something different. Slaughterhouse by Iced Cave is the hardest level in Geometry Dash. It's also probably the most terrifying and aggressive one of them all. Therefore, I didn't expect any positive the feedback field. whatsoever. The music is too much for me, <laughs> I would say. I think it's too much for me. <laughs> it was kind of expected. Crimson look looks nice. It is flashy, but it looks nice. It has one color. I, I didn't like the graphic because it's it was too dark and too bad for me. Like, oh uh, well, my opinion was okay. I guess I didn't have much problem with it. I like the colors really. It it did match up the theme. Wow. 
Wide Space by Xander game is arguably the most ambitious level in Geometry Dash. Its artistic contribution, along with massive attention to details, makes the experience truly memorable. It looks like blueprints, like developing, and those um, TV series, which are usually detected. The graphic is amazing. Wow, that's something new! I love it! Seems like it uh, would have some story. Yeah, it has a lot of story behind it. Wow, that's wonderful. I expect Colorix by Shaggy23 to be on the bottom of the list because of its atrocious design choices. Surely it can't be enjoyable to watch, right? For some reason, even though it's um, sort of flashy, it's not that bad. There are many different parts in this level. You at least kept the black background that helps with it being a little less flashy. I would say that each graphic uh, could be used in one level. But there were many designs. Yeah. Like every design could be used in each individual level. Yeah, so we could yeah. make like 10 levels out of these designs. Yeah. I decided to end it all on the best level ever, the cream of the crop. I guess this is supposed to be a joke, but it's horrible. Wow. Yeah, the manga bar, like, when they leave it out, it would have been a perfectly fine level, but I guess. <laughs> Fuck it up. But can you play it once again? Because it's not bad. Don't be Don't sus, be so happy holy dice. Also, by the way, fun little detail. Yeah, so this constellation is made out of Sus, literally. This is the final verdict from our guests sorted from best to worst. Let me know in the comments if you agree with the placements or you would make some changes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider watching this one where I search for the most overrated levels in Geometry Dash. Consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!